Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or of course, if you are brand new here, my name is Lauren. Today, we have a misguided dress haul. Clearly, you can tell since I'm already wearing one and have a couple behind me. Some of these are straight fire and other ones, it's like rubbing sticks together and there's sparks, but you can't get the fire. That's what some of these are like. Idea, beautiful. Execution, huh? So, let's get into the haul. <laughs> Okay, also as I just mentioned today, like I said, we have a misguided summer dress haul. I haven't really bought a lot from misguided over the last year, probably as much shopping as I've done during COVID, which is shameful. shameful. I haven't really gone to misguided a lot. Number one, I get charged duties every single time because I'm in Canada. And number two, a lot of their stuff just wasn't calling to me. It's kind of the same stuff they've had for like a long time. But Going into spring and summer, I did see some cute new dresses that I hadn't really seen before, so naturally, your girl had to grab a couple. Anyway, we'll get into all of it as I go through the dresses. Let's start with the one I'm wearing right now. I just spit. Let's get into the one I'm wearing right now, which is this adorable little zebra print number, like, I will have all of the sizes and prices listed somewhere on the screen. If you've been to my channel before, you know I have a thing about animal print. I can't help it. I just, I love animal print. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know if these are like distracting for you guys up there, so I'm just gonna take them down. This is, as you can see, just a little cute halter, like zebra print midi dress. I will do a full body so you guys can see, but it's past my knee, definitely not ankle length. It is like a true midi length. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not cotton or jersey or anything like that. Not my favorite material. It does not have any stretch, but it has give. I would suggest going with your regular size. I think this is so gorgeous. Hopefully you guys can see the back. There is adjustable straps at the back. So if this is a little bit too low, kind of like how mine, I have to keep pulling it up here. The back does have a zipper. So one thing that kind of drives me nuts about this dress is because it doesn't have a lot of stretch and because I have some curvy curves going on, you can kind of see the zipper is like bunched up here. As soon as I start walking or like my hips move or anything, the zipper is gonna kind of go into big bunches here. Thought I would mention because that's usually why I don't love dresses with the zipper up the back. There is also a slit on this left side here. It's really not that high. It's like mid thigh maybe, like it's very, very modest, but it does add a little bit of movement and a little bit of like, and it is very, very cute and a little bit sexy. So let's get into the next one. Okay, so where do I begin? First of all, this is probably the most cleavagey dress I think I've ever owned. I keep trying to tuck them away and they just keep finding their way out. It is very difficult for me to, number one, breathe in this dress because this tie, I, it has to be so tight to even remotely keep me together that it like is cutting off my air supply. I mean, like, first of all, the waist waist wear so i'm not mad at it but i am you know a little concerned about the fact that i cannot breathe when this dress is done up simply because it is a true wrap dress where these two where are they my body swallowed them these two ties right here these guys okay are literally what is holding this side of the dress to this side of the dress if this had been sewn I would have for sure been in love with it, but it's the fact that it's not, so that it's not really secure at all because the only thing holding my entire, my entire flesh vehicle in a piece of clothing are these two little ties that can come apart at any time. And if they do, it's game over. This dress is giving me body yaddy yaddy. It's stunning. I love the print, the sleeves, like the fluttery sleeves. The material is amazing. It's just the fact that if it was like, there, sure, but it's not. Before I pan you guys down, can we just have a moment for these sleeves? Oh, I just love them. Okay, let me pan you down. Okay, so here is what it's looking like to the floor. It is a little bit longer than midi, but I would consider it a midi style still. I forgot to mention it is also like a high-low vibe, if you guys can see that. Okay, so flashback to the beginning of the video when I said that some of the sizes were all over the place. This, I don't know. Who? I don't know who is in charge of sizing at Misguided. <sighs> this is like so small. It's so tight in the arms. Like it's just not made right. Like basically it fits right up until just above my waist and then the zipper busted open. Yeah. If I really wanted to have forced it, I could have, but I could feel the zipper wasn't very good quality to begin with. And I had a panic attack thinking that I was gonna have to cut myself out of this dress. 
I always say it's blazer material whenever dresses or, or shirts or anything are like this. Um, misguided, boohoo, pretty little thing. They use a lot of this material in like their pants. It's almost like a crepey material. This one's a little bit smoother than that first zebra one. Anyway, long story short, this dress did not work. Also, I forgot to show you this up close, but um, there is a couple buttons. I didn't do them all up. There you go. Okay, so when I first tried this on, not gonna lie, I did not know what to think of it. I still don't know what to think of it. Hold on. It's a mini dress, off the shoulder, obviously, with these really cute kind of poofy sleeves that are like connected. It's really cute, okay? I love it, I think. Have you ever had a clothing item like that where you're like, I love it? Then you look at it longer and you're like, that's not flattering at all. And then you keep looking at it and you're like, no, no, it is cute and then you just do that 15 times a day until you eventually throw it out because you never wore it. I feel like that's where I'm going with this, but I don't know. It is pretty much right, right past my knee, right below my knee, I should say. It is very cute. I do like it. I don't love what it does to my boobs, and I know that I could wear a strapless bra with it and it would make it a little bit more shapely, I guess, but like this is very much like a you don't need a bra with this vibe, and that's how I plan to wear it. It's fine. I like it. I do like it. It is very pretty. The pattern, I just, I don't know what it is about this section here. I'm just not loving that, but there's a little bow here. I don't like the bow. I think the body for the most part is looking pretty scrumptious. A little turn. I'm sorry, what? I'm trying to remember the way this looked on the model when I bought it because I, I find it difficult that I, me, would buy a dress that is basically just under boob city. Now, I don't know, maybe, maybe that day I listened to Brene Brown and I wanted to step into the arena and live with courage because, listen, it's a hard no from this girl right here. If this part had been like a top that came down and like sat properly, like how pretty would that have been? But no, it is what it is. I can't turn around because it's sheer at the back. This is a no, it's making me sweat. I'm gonna go. Goodbye. And my personal favorite. This is stunning. This is a halter, bodycon, slippery material type, satin type, stretchy, calf length dress. I'm obsessed with this. There is a very fitted liner under this dress. These are press-on nails. I'm not gonna get up in here and pull it down all the way. So if it looks extra kind of bunchy here, that's because the liner is up here and it should be down near my calves, but we've already had an incident with these popping off already. <laughs> so we're not gonna do that. I think it's supposed to be like kind of a cowl neck vibe here, which I'm into. I think that is super pretty. It's so like comfy and free around here. It's not tight at all. Can you not see me finding a husband on a boat? I mean, come on. Okay, here is what the back is looking like. It is, like I said, just a halter. So naturally it's got just kind of a normal square back vibe going on there. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna finish the video off here. Let me know if you're gonna grab any of these dresses. Honestly, these were all gorgeous. Sorry that this was kind of a short haul, but I've had this stuff sitting here for about three weeks now. And I wanted to make sure that I was getting you guys these dresses in video form so you can go and grab them if they're still available. Hopefully they are. Just so you know, if you wanna risk it for the biscuit, expect to get hit with some customs if you're not in the US or where does it come from, the UK? Where it comes from, you know what I mean. I'm in Canada, so I did get charged. If you think that it's worth it, then go ahead. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If it is not gray, you are not subscribed. Why are you not subscribed? That's what I thought. Thank you for hitting that button. I will see you guys next time. Stay safe and stay healthy. Toodles.